from the tax years of 2014 to 2019, more than $17 million came to Hunter Biden and his associates. $8.2, $8.3 million directly went to Hunter Biden. And they came from countries such as China, Ukraine, Romania. Um, some of the items and gifts that he received was, for example, an $80,000 diamond, over $142,000 Porsche. It is absolutely unconscionable. And that was House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Congressman Jason Smith with me on Friday's Mornings with Maria over on Fox Business. On the amount of money Hunter Biden and his family took in from 2014 to 2019, from foreign nationals and then evaded taxes on top of the influence peddling. This, as Smith's committee revealed on Thursday, Hunter Biden threatened a Chinese business associate back in 2017 in a WhatsApp message uh, that he was sitting next to his father, then Vice President Joe Biden, and he better keep his, quote, commitment or face retaliatory consequences from the vice president and everybody he knows. In the text, Hunter Biden writes this, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment was not fulfilled, tell the director that I would like to re resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I'm sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Join me now with reaction, our New York Post columnist Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer, president of the Government Accountability Institute. Miranda is the author of The Laptop from Hell. Peter is the author of Red Handed. Both are bestsellers and must reads. Thanks for joining us, uh, both of you. Miranda, let me get your take first on this uh, WhatsApp message that really sounds more like a mobster uh, doing a shakedown than the son of a president. It does, and I think it shows you just how important Joe Biden was in the shakedown operation that the Biden family had going around the world, that they raked in, uh, you know, millions and millions of dollars from particularly China. Um, and it, uh, Joe Biden needs to answer the question, was he in the room? And so far, they've managed to stonewall. I think what we've seen from this new uh, whistleblower material from the two IRS agents is more evidence of Biden family corruption uh, on the one hand. And on the other hand, the second string and perhaps more important string uh, of this story is the um, the uh, I guess, corruption of the FBI and the DOJ. You see throughout uh, this investigation how the DOJ uh, put its thumb on the scale, it refused to allow search warrants um, on the cottage on Joe Biden's property where Hunter Biden had been living, yeah. um, tipped off uh, Hunter Biden's lawyers to a search warrant that was going to be executed on his storage facility. Um, that is against the law. Uh, so th I think that, as uh, you're right, that the gloves need to come off uh, with the Republicans. They have a lot of power. Congress has a lot of power to compel people to uh, to testify. And if they refuse, to hold them in contempt. Yeah. And if they flout those contempt laws, to then fine them every day. They don't need to rely on the DOJ to enforce anything. Mm, very good point. Look, you both have broken so much news on this story. Peter, you broke a lot of this years ago uh, about the Biden family influence peddling. And you've got new information this morning, uh, breaking news on a cell phone that Joe Biden was using. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. What is the line of communications between Hunter Biden and his business partners and Joe Biden when he's vice president of the United States? It's not the government phone. It's not Joe Biden's personal phone. We know from the laptop that Hunter Biden's business paid for a private phone line that Joe Biden used while he was vice president. It was from AT&T. It was $300 a month. It was a global phone where you could access somebody anywhere around the world. Uh, we shared that phone number and that account information with people at the House Oversight Committee. My hope is that, that they haven't already. They will subpoena those records because I think it will give an indication on how tight the communication was. Uh, and that may be the phone 
phone, for example, that the Ukrainian, the Burisma executive, might have used uh, in this allegation uh, that he talked to Joe Biden in re recorded conversations. I, I would just say one other thing, Marie, as it relates to that sort of shakedown phone call with Henry Zhao uh, that we alluded to. Henry Zhao in 2015 had already sent $5 million to the Bidens. Uh, he was the head of a harvest investment firm. Uh, and what's interesting is in the correspondence there, Hunter Biden again talks to Zhao in the context of this is a deal that's important to my family uh, involving his father. Let's also keep in mind we fixate on the criminal element of this. We also have to focus on the espionage element of this. Henry Zhao paid $5 million to Hunter Biden from an account that was part of a company that he co-owned with the family of the Minister of State Security of China, who's I'm in charge of the entire spy apparatus. And you see that in every deal that Hunter Biden did in China, these individuals that are sending him money have ties to Chinese intelligence. Unbelievable. We have to take a quick break and then talk more about that and these 17 recordings that the Burisma executive have. Stay with us right there. Stay with us. Welcome back with Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer. Miranda, what's most important in terms of a takeaway from your standpoint on this investigation now? Look, I think that it's pretty clear that Joe Biden lied to the American people when he said he knew nothing about his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. We now have two new allegations that yeah. Hunter Biden was uh, meeting with those Chinese executives at the Four Seasons Hotel in December of 2015 yeah. with his son Hunter. Uh, and we also know that uh, Hunter Biden says that his father was in the room when they were shaking right. down the Chinese. He met with over a dozen of Hunter's overseas business partners. Hunter put him yeah. on the speakerphone when he was meeting with these partners. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, it's beyond the, the time for it, Joe though. Biden. I mean, pardon me, the bulk of it, though, Peter, all this money that the Biden family has taken in for what? What's their business? Yeah, the product was Joe Biden. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.